Hi and I did everybody. Tonight we discussing a very simple matter which is Nigerian churches and their roles in Nigerian politics. Well, I've, uh, I'm going to make this very short tonight because I just want to discuss the type of churches we have in Nigeria. The ones that are being headed by people who understand what uh, civic duty means and the ones who, want, who do not understand what we just uh, play by the rules of money. Well, uh, uh, before I start, I want to ask everybody who is online to understand that I'm not coming online tonight because I just have to. I'm coming online because there's a matter that is very important and uh, uh, we all have to discuss it. Well, let me begin without wasting time. The first type of church, I know I'm, I'm coming late tonight again, but uh, we just have to do it. Our technical issues, when I, I, I was set to start by 9.05, but I had audio issue. I had to quickly go and look for another audio uh, device this night. That's why I um, starting days but this this matter is very crucial we we have to discuss it so let's get started the first type of church i want to discuss is this one that has that is teaching their members um, civic responsibility and civic duties and let us go there For those of you who do not understand the river language, that is the choir of a church. And what they are simply doing is they are singing to members of their church, uh, admonishing them to go and, do, and vote for whoever they think is capable. Not if they do not vote. And you know what? When choir wants to sing in church, to usher in the past or to preach or to minister. The choir will be singing normally gospel songs, the way we have been used to it in Nigeria. But what I just showed you, you can play it back again, is that the choir is singing and admonishing their members to go and vote for whoever has convinced them of capacity, competence, and efficiency. As a result, they are saying, if you do not vote or if you refuse to vote, they will impose somebody on you. Imagine the choir of a church doing that. Isn't that impressive? I want to show you the second type of church we have in Nigeria and their role in politics. <laughs> I'm sure you saw that, uh, isn't it funny, you know, they have a particular candidate they already preferred and they're asking all members of the church to pray for that person. Not just that, let me put it on the back for you to see, yeah, can you see that? Let me mute the audio for you. Let me mute the audio, okay, can you see it? They have candles surrounding the picture of Omishori. Omishori is the SDP candidate in the uh, election in Oshun State that is coming up on Saturday. What does that tell us? It simply tells us that we have different kinds of churches. The first type of church I showed you has their choir singing and admonishing their members to go and vote for who they think will make the country great. That is the first kind of church. 
they are not imposing on all their members to go and vote a particular candidate. But the second church is already telling their members who to vote and also so <laughs> surrounding uh, the poster of that candidate with candles praying for that person to compulsorily win. <laughs> what does that tell us? Partisanship in church. Politics inside church. And not just politics of competence or efficiency or politics of merit, but politics of somebody has brought money. Let's pray for him. <laughs> Funny, right? Well, that's as far as it is. I know you have comments and I'm going to wait for... I can see all of you already coming online and bringing your comments on. Well, what I want to say is that uh, I'm going to read all of your comments. And uh, But before then, I have something I want to do as a matter of as an announcement. But before the announcement, I want to let you know that one of the few presidential aspirants young or generation new generation presidential aspirants that we've been talking about in the past few days don't forget that i've been talking about the serious ones top of who started the anrp abundant nigeria renewal party and when they show there was going to create gone ahead to create his own party action alliance congress am i correct aac and then uh Drotoi is currently facing crisis again for the second time in his past because he has a very strong rival now. Ashim is coming out to rival him in ANN, Alliance for New Nigeria. It's going to be tough. Uh, Mohalu, who came out of the pact and rejected the outcome of the pact and decided to still go for further in his aspiration, regardless of what he signed, that if he lost at the pact, he wasn't going to continue with his own ambition. But after losing out in the park, he still decided to go hide regardless. Mohalu is, is still in the race. And uh, like I told you earlier, that if he knows how to play politics, he was going to bounce back. Somehow he's bouncing back, but the people are just not taking him seriously as they used to when he started out uh, campaigning for presidency. Well, one of these presidential aspirants I want to talk about I discovered that he's already sweeping Abuja, and this is what I mean. Alright everybody, who did you see there? ANRP, uh, former protein chairman, <laughs> now substantive. Anyways, I have an announcement for you. I told you guys earlier that we're going to start a show very soon on Objective Media. Uh, I want to show you something that my crew, my people have started. Uh, it's called Straight Talk. Straight Talk uh, is going to be about people talking about topical issues, uh, matters that are very strong and they are going to be very blunt. You know, uh, they, they are going to show you real life issue and then they will talk about it without missing words. They will not be diplomatic. They will not be, they will not try to... Hello everybody, welcome back. So that is straight talk. Watch out, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. Alright. So comments now. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Alright, top abeke you say the first church is which church? Well as you can as you could see there, it's a white garment church. I decided to choose uh 
activities from churches that are like the foremost churches in Nigeria. Don't forget that most of the Pentecostal churches you see today started being white garment churches. Even within Christian Church of God started out as being white garment from uh, Re late Reverend Akindayon, Josiah Akindayon was a white garment church. So I decided to use churches that are like the Aladura, the primitive old Aladura churches that preceded the Pentecostal churches that we now have today. So they are still in existence and what they do usually, uh, sometimes they are the ones that prophesy, see vision and all of that. So that's why I decided to choose them. So tonight you saw Abeke, that's to respond to you. The first church I showed you is a white garment church. The second one I also showed you is also a white garment church. As you can see, they surrounded the poster of Omishore with candles. <laughs> okay. So that is to respond to you, uh, Abeke, my person. Uh, let's move on to the next thing. Moses Abi say, What's good, Shege? I'm very good. I'm so sorry I came on late. And I understand all of you are already angry with me is because uh, technically I was ready already as of the time we uh, planned to start a show but because I had issue with my audio I had to go and get another audio device. This is a new one, it's not the old one, it's another one altogether. I had issue with the first one and it took my time before I got another one. I had promised that I was going to come online today without wasting time but who am I if God says <laughs> that was not the time. And I'm not trying to be churchly or religious or spiritual. <laughs> I'm just saying I planned it, but technically I wasn't able to come online. I'm so sorry. Ferdinand, say welcome. Thank you so much, Ferdinand. At least you understand. But I'm Joshi. Hi, Sheg. We hope you are having a better day than yesterday. Well, as you could, you can see. Fine, but more than yesterday. <laughs> hey, Bobo Shege. Thank you, Peter Dewey. Happy Joshua, say my man, you are here. I'm here, my person. Oron Limited, say which one be this again? Shegu, well, we are discussing church and their rules in politics. This one, say hey, Shegu, how are you? I'm very fine. Haha, I saw this one, princess. You saw this video earlier. What's your reaction to it? I beg say the first church is okay. I just I answered that earlier. This one, say Nigeria, the land of voodoo, or many, my brother. <laughs> We don't tire. <laughs> you go see differences for church or for Nigeria. Um, Michael Tolu Lua towards you. See, oh God, man, <laughs> you they laugh. Well, I'm watching from Lowell, Massachusetts, USA. Hmm. You're welcome, my person. Um, Desmond say we don't we don't see him right. Allow more Nudin. What did this to us, Nigeria? Well, that is to tell you that politics is so local in Nigeria. So if you are commenting from abroad, it's not always going to be the way you think it would be. There's a lot of things going on in the country. Um, one moment, please. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in the country which is not the way you think or the way you witness it or express it in the abroad. <laughs> <laughs> right. Martin said this second one is highly influenced politically by the candidate they want, of course. Money politics reigns supreme in the country. Oron said it's really a shame that majority of Africans are doing funny, funny things in the name of God. Foolishness and the Mumu people don't care of what the Bible says. Hmm. It's unfortunate. Oron Limited said mind you this is not a church but a religious and foolish gathering <laughs> as far as they are foolish people gathering with them <laughs> it's a church too <laughs> Shegu, is this the same omissionary dasuki gates that the church is praying for uh why are they not praying for in the country they are praying for the biggest i don't want to mention it but if you go to Kwara state you see i want far away i want far away 24 hours, on, I mean, average of 18 hours every day, they sit on the mat and pray for the people you call criminals. The people you call criminals, they sit on the mat and pray average of 18 hours every day for them. That's where we are in the country. Um, this month, the Africa Action Congress, okay, I missed the pronunciation the first time. Thank you for that correction. 
um, Michael Tolu. Thank you. I've read it. I've corrected it. Bam Joshi, Tokyo Fashwa was Tokyo Fashwa was always prepared. Yes, Tokyo Fa Tokyo Fashwa was actually the first person I knew who was a young new generation person working assiduously, working so hard to make sure that they don't join the whole guard. They want to capture young people and steer the ship of the country for I mean in a new direction before we start seeing other people. All right. So now only we now only in we go see for Abuja. Happy Joshua is asking whether it is only top of us we would see. Well, but I'm just saying as far as new generation aspirants are concerned, top of us is doing well trying to capture Abuja. At least that is the seat of power, and it's trying to do a lot or enough to capture that space. All right. Of course, it's street sign. Yeah, it's, that means it's writing its name in, on people's mind. It's doing its lot. Okay. Mam Josh is Obiana say, okay. Adejumo Stella say, Omishuri may be a celestial member of the church. So, the Spanish prayed for him. Members are free to vote their choice, like Komori Shuri of AAC party. Now, the question is, if I'm a member of a church, does it make me automatically competent for the, for the pastor to impose me on everybody to say, you must vote him? The Lord has said so. <laughs> or should it rather be, inst I mean, should it instead be that you would say, oh, we have somebody who is a member of the church contesting. We will encourage you to sample him and help him help him in the sense that help work on his manifesto help him in the sense that help develop screen his manifesto and be sure that he is actually competent if he is not then make your choice the church will not take a position the church will not take a position look at the case of the first church that is asking people to go and do their own diligence and decide who is convincing enough. Politics is not spiritual. So the moment you start putting spirit, see, if it is about prayer, don't make this, if it's about prayers, eh? Jonathan had the prayers of pastors, had the blessing of kings, but he didn't win. It's not about it. So let churches stop making those silly mistakes and if you're a member of a church don't join them to make that silly mistake it's not going to work all right obina says what happened i don't know now so we see him for that church too. peter day we share going ask first one, how many towns hall state and local governments he has visited i will i didn't ask him and you're right i will ask him i'll ask him but i'm aware that as far as Local elections are concerned. ANRP, his party, has been fielding candidates and giving support to make sure that at least they have some outings to recall that they are doing something at least. All right? And this is not to defend anybody. Don't make mistake. Tomorrow I'll talk about another candidate and talk about their strength and what they are doing. All right? Aha. Gadrik, say forget about those churches. Let's join hands together to take it back, okay? What a fast one. If we miss this coming year by taking it back, then Nigeria is finished from Canada. Yo, talk a fast one from Canada. Thank you so much. I can hear me, I can buy your day. Talk a fast one is a funny guy. He should go and start campaigning on the streets. Like, sure. Hmm. He's campaigning too, and he's fielding candidates in all this. Our state elections, a few dead candidates in the kitty. They are feeling candidates again in Oshun. They may, you may not be hearing about them in Oshun as far as their daily case of PDP and the Zio Yeshola of a APC is concerned. But they are also working, at least they have candidates too. They are working, don't make mistake. They are taking their first steps and learning from their mistakes. They are learning from every step they take. 
So let us make the mistake of thinking that they are not doing something. They are working. All right. Shagun is said prepared. I don't know what you mean. I try to correct it to mean he is prepared. But you are saying prepared, meaning are you saying are you insinuating or suggesting that he was paid or he has been paid to do that? Okay, Stephen Yakubu. Hi Shaggy, I'm watching from Germany. You're welcome, Stephen. So thank you so much. Mimi Peace. Based on what we have seen, they have not imposed anyone on people, they are only praying. Some people go to native doctor, while some go to occult. It depends on what you believe. But the moment you are asking members of the church to pray for a person, you put the in the floor on the floor of the church and you surround it with candle and ask members to pray for that poster. It's it's not rocket science. We already know what it means. You are simply saying that that person should be God's chosen and all of us should. Right? Ah uh -huh, now we know. You are simply saying on that election day too. As after praying, you should also go and we know now. No be did I mention it before that I was going to tell you one day the reason I left Redeem? Oh, story for another day. Story for another day. We'll get there, alright? Um, Happy Joshua, people are losing their manhood because of elections. Well, Peter Dewey, prepaid mean he has been paid before the election. I understand the meaning of prepared, but I thought you meant prepared. Uh, that's why. But if you say he has been prepared before the election, please, I need the information. I am ready to expose anybody who paid him. Please, I'm waiting for only you now to tell me who paid Tokwe Fasua before the election and what is the mission. Why was he paid? I'm interested. I want to expose as many people as I can, so I can expose who are not genuine. Please. Tell me, Mr. Peter Dewey, tell me who paid Tokyo Faswa. I want to expose him. I'm not joking. I'm looking for genuine people and I'm talking about as many young as parents I'm seeing that I see that they are working. Alright? But if you feel anyone has been paid, not just feel, if you have evidence anyone is paid to do something, tell me please I want to expose them so that we will narrow down to who is remaining that is genuine i'm interested and i'm not joking please take my words seriously i want to expose if you know evidence against shore being sponsored he's flying all over the world if you know anyone who is sponsoring him to be doing that give me the information if i write it right here i'm going to expose him we want to see only genuine people because those are sponsored by some godfather somewhere they end up not performing look at what's happening in lagos state right now the Godfather is saying, oh, he's not doing my bidding, I want to change him. We are tired. It's not in the interest of the masses. So we don't want to repeat that mistake, whether at state or federal level. So if you know anyone who is being paid, if you know Droto is being sponsored, tell me, I want to expose Droto so that we can narrow to a few others. If you know Mohalu is being sponsored, tell me who is sponsoring if you have the information. I want to expose so that we can narrow to a few genuine ones. If you know that's why he's being sponsored. Tell me, I want to know so that I can expose him and we can narrow to a few persons. If you know Yuniza Tsujide is being sponsored, tell me, I want to know so that I can narrow to a few others who are genuine. Please, I'm begging you. So let us not use sentiment and just use, uh, I'm saying, uh, I, I suppose, or I, I feel, or I have a hunch. No. Let us use evidence. I'm I'm interested in evidence. Please, so my number is zero eight zero six zero six zero six one double six. If you don't want to put it on here, give it to me on WhatsApp. Give it to me on WhatsApp. Zero eight zero six zero six zero six one double six. Give me who is sponsoring who. That you want to use them for any reason. We, I want a genuine Nigerian, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I want a genuine Nigerian. I want a better country. So if you know anyone who is being sponsored by anybody to disorganize the dream for a better Nigeria, a better country, send the information to me. Put evidence. I will come on the show live and expose. But please, don't say I just have a feeling or 
have a hunch. I don't want it. Please. I don't want I have a hunch or I have a feeling. Give me the right info. This person is being sponsored by so so so. I have the info, I have the evidence. Give it to me. I'll be, if I don't then expose, then expose me for not exposing that person. Alright? We want genuine Nigerian and we want as a result genuine candidates. So if you know anyone who is being sponsored to come and disrupt this or to come and uh, you know shatter the dream of a new Nigeria. Give me the info. I will put online and I will be live. I'm not joking. I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm serious. If I wanted to be rich, I would have been rich long ago. I had offers to be a, billion, to be a young multimillionaire. I rejected them. I want a country that works for all of us. Right? I work hard every day. Making little, little change. Little, little change. And I'm, I'm, I'm contented with it. Okay, so if you have evidence anyone is being sponsored or motivated, my number again is 08060606166. My name is Shegunlo. You see my face on the DP. Send me the evidence. I will come live and expose such person. Well, except you have the evidence, don't tell me I have a hunch or I have a feeling. No, it will not work. You know, we can't send that feeling or hunch we can't tender it i'm an objective person and i'm serious i'm real now let us not demonize people because we are we don't support them as i said i've been projecting people that i feel are working at, at least in their own capacity even though i want all of them to come together and present one person for us but i don't want to destroy people's genuine ambition under the oblivious or amb ambivalent or <laughs> whatever word they want to use or the um, I mean the shade of I don't want him or I don't just like him I want it to be this person no let us use evidence based reporting give me evidence I'll come live and expose them I'm not joking I'm not joking Nigeria the way the country is right now the way they have destroyed this country is not joking so I can't joke either all right so thank you so much um, let me quickly rush I missed some comments while I was trying to respond to that uh, Michael said I've not even seen that topic that fast wire guy before what are his plans how is it see topic fast is on Facebook search him is the founder of ANRPs maybe and it was is the it was the potent chairman now the present presidential flag there yeah. there are so much things he's talking about right um well it's a book i said shagun i can't wait for that so you don't worry one day i'll come up with it renny say shagun i used we for the first time to send money to your account want to make sure you got it 7040 with my first name Starting with Re and last name EB. Confirm without reading my phone name. Um, I'll check. If the amount you mean is 7,040 naira, I didn't receive an amount as such. I received 5,000 from somebody, 5,000 and something. I received 20,000 naira from three separate persons, 2020. I received, um, and those persons say I should not mention their names. 7040 let me check i promise to give you feedback if i come online tomorrow tomorrow is uh friday i have something to do by evening but i may still be able to come online regardless okay i'll try to manage it if i come online i would have confirmed uh the 7040 if it is in naira i'll confirm an amount i received that is 7040 if i'm correct about what you wrote there okay uh this is a system that is the system of worship in celestial churches is the way they conduct their church or ritual i'm not their member but some people kill to sacrifice to devil me me peace hmm, it's unfortunate this one god is causing confusion in all major political parts of nigeria apc and pdp we never know peace this one their time is over hmm. okay uh this one says true talk shagun well i'm just talking my own 
What a fast one, my brother Shegun, you are doing great work. For me, Shore is the only serious candidate I know. If not, we shall see from Canada. Thank you, Shegun. Thank you so much, everybody. I want to sign out now. If you still want to, uh, if you're one of those that are said promising to support the show, the uh, number is on the, the account details is on in the video description. Whatever you feel like using to support. Like I told you, we're starting the show very shortly, uh, Straight Talk, and the uh, guys are already uh, doing their beats on the Straight Talk. It's going to start very soon, and uh, we want to be using it to educate people, to talk to people's minds and all of that. So please, if you have something you want to donate to this course, we will appreciate it. Uh, God will bless you. And then I'm um, using this to sign out there for. Thank you very much. I'm going to see you all tomorrow, hopefully. God bless you. Thank you for coming on the show. Peace out. <laughs>